what we are going today to talk is uh, how uh, we can find and distinguish between the real Arduino board and uh, the fake one. In fact, uh, nowadays there is not much more difficult uh, find the fake one and real Arduino board. And let me tell you the truth that even as I work with the fake one and real one, there was not much more difference between the fake and real Arduino board. But uh, sometimes in some special case that I don't think that maybe for uh, in your stage, you will interface that. Uh, some people uh, reported the problem regarding the fake board and the real one. Uh, that is why today I'm going first uh, step of our today lecture. I'm going to talk regarding how we can find the uh, fake one and real board, real Arduino board. Even I saw some of you started to buy the Arduino board from uh, Taobao, which is very good. I'm very happy that some of you uh, start to buy that. But you had problem that, is it uh, uh, the correct uh, link or no? Or you are searching uh, and see that there is the list of uh, different price on net. Anyway, what I think that, uh, now try to use the Arduino in any case. If you want really to work on the uh, original board, which I also prefer to work on the original board, then pay for that and then use it. Otherwise, if now just you are in the learning process, maybe uh, I can teach you how to make the Arduino because as we know, Arduino is the open source board, which uh, they give this authority or this um, authorization to all people who make Arduino board, okay? That is the reason that in my point of view, for just education level, please remember that, just education level, it's not difficult, it's not different that you take the original board or you take the fake board. Please remember this, okay, for education. The other thing uh, that uh, I want that you uh, please have it in your mind is that uh, uh, I didn't see much more different between them. But anyway, as uh, I remember, some years some back, years my back. students also has the same question and tell me how we should find. First lecture of today, we just talking how we can find uh, the difference between the original board and the fake board. Okay, then please uh, remember this point that I will tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Uh, first of all, if you see even in the video that I sent for you, the main color for the Arduino board is blue. Okay. Um, there was a question arise from some students that suppose we buy, you show us the in the movie, the Arduino board, which had the chip with uh, this type that we call it deep version, DIP. But what I found on the net, that was something like that. First of all, see, there is something that in the next lecture I will tell you. This is the new generation of Arduino Uno that they call it R3 board, okay? And in that, they start to have some fantastic job, some nice job to using the chip uh, with the SMD technology. We call this SMD type, okay? Uh, 
first of all for the uh, type of the uh, controller there is no difference in the fake one or in the original one we remember this point that i will tell you first of all the color of the board if your board is nowadays for the original one they start to have the green board something like that and previous time that was something like this the little bit dark blue but whatever that these days we can take is okay good um, then from the type of the controller we don't have any different but what is different first is color of the arduino board and if you see from the back side of our arduino we have some sign and some uh, new uh, logo that they put which show which one is original suppose see this is the original one and this is the fake one you see the shape and how they print the logo of arduino okay nowadays it should be like this but if your board is old and original it should be like this okay another point is that suppose if i'm using the ono board or mega board the printed name of the arduino board should written very nicely on the board you see the original one i mean this one see this one how they put the nice ono board there and how for the fake one they put see the dot then it means that this board is not correct and uh, this is the fake one second one how they will put the logo of arduino means that the signature of arduino if they put something like this see the tm that they put here and also name of the arduino these two boards are fake and this board is the original one you see everything should write very nicely and logo should put very clear on the board next is the country which uh, make the arduino was italy then they print the uh, map of italy country on the back side of all arduino board if the map is clear then it's original otherwise if it has some shape like these three that i mentioned at below it means that it's not original one and it's counterfeit one another one for the original board of arduino you see the hole all the holes are nicely put there but for the fake one, you see, the quality of soldering is not nice. Okay, and maybe they say that it's in the ugly manner. Uh, I don't know, something like that. Other point is that on the Arduino board, we have one regulator, which is uh, it's uh, working for us uh, to regulate the voltage, this one, okay? Before that, there is one resistor that this is 501k kilo. This resistor should be in golden and also should proper solder. Means that when you see it, it should be nicely uh, soldered on the board. Okay. But as you see in the fake one, it's not in the good condition and it's not assembled proper. Next. Uh, the Arduino uh, with all these points, if it has any of uh, the points which I tell you this is fake, it's definitely fake. But even what I read around last year from Arduino developer website and comment, they say that even if you find the board, which is uh, don't have all these signs you will not be sure that this is fake or not you should uh, buy from the trusted dealer something like commercial job that even i don't like but anyway 
what I want to say that even if your board is fake or if your board is original, just looking for the performance. But why I tell you that, maybe you want to make one system or do the commercialized job, then in that case, 100% you should go from the original board because for the quality of the board, for the shape of the board, from the trust that you can put on your product, you should have the good. Board. But in your level, I don't think that it should be the difference between the fake one and original. This is the first question that today I wanted to share with you. Next question is that, how uh, we should select the Arduino board? Okay. Most of you ask uh, this question for me that what the difference between Arduino board? Okay, there is a table which show us, and I show you last lecture, that the difference between the board is there. But how we can be sure that this board is enough for our project or not? I mean that sometimes you have the requirement for project, but you are not sure that how much you should spend to buy the Arduino board. This point that today I will tell you, uh, maybe the good guideline, guideline for you to select the proper board. And let me tell you the truth, even for my first project that I start to work with Arduino, I didn't have the clear concept that which board is okay. I just select one board that was mega and start to learning by that. And after sometimes I found that, okay, by chance, I have done the good selection. But my friend, this is not the proper and academic and <laughs> logic way. In my point of view, you should list your requirement and based on that, select the proper Arduino board for your project. Then it means that all the projects should not have the same Arduino board. But nice thing in Arduino board is that all the projects can have the same coding or programming, but your board size, your board dimension, your board facility are different. Okay, then let us review. As we said, the board that currently we start to work is Ono board, which is the um, main board and initial board that people use in Arduino. They use the Atmega 328 microcontroller with 16 megahertz crystal as the uh, operate oscillation. It has 14 number of digital input output, six analog pin input, and power which can use by the USB controller. Nice thing is that on the board, we have the fixed LED, which is wrapped to digital pin 13 and some reset pin, which we have in Arduino Uno. The key difference of Arduino from all previous world means that it has a USB controller chip, which is integrated on the board. And this feature make it much more easier to hint to the ground running because of you uh, sim simply plug in into the computer and you can use it. Means Arduino no, don't need any other programmer or extra things more than wire. Today, I am going to share some movie on the, our lectures group that how you should plug and plug uh, out the Arduino board. Then when you will buy it, you will find it. Uh, it's very simple. Next board is Arduino Mega. Arduino Mega, it's one of the best and powerful Arduino board that I saw. Because compared with the facility and hardware that it has, a number of projects that you can handle with that, it's fantastic. But my friend, the size between these two boards are completely different. Even I show you on the smart, uh, small uh, video that I sent for you that Arduino Mega is bigger 
than Arduino or no, and it has 54 digital inputs. It has some PWM, it has uh, more number of serial ports that I will see. But nice thing is that again on pin number 13, we have LED. The next board is Arduino Leonard that we talk for that. It has the 20 digital pin and 12 analog input pin where it's really stand apart and it has a second serial port. It can also do some um, nifty trick and a way to connect to the keyboard and mouse. And it can be programmed to control the input device so your computer will act as just receiving keyboard and mouse input. It's very nice, but there was some problem for Arduino Lone Art for some libraries and framework that they start to revise. And it's still it's good, but personally, I don't prefer to work much more in that. The next board that I tell you that is LilyPad, which I tell you it's working for the some art as well as uh, textile and wearables uh, work. The nice thing in LilyPad is that it's working on eight megahertz crystal, but all last three boards that I tell you, they are working on 16 megahertz. Don't uh, forget this board. And also size of the LilyPad is small as well as the <clears throat> size is small. And also, as uh, we know, the performance due to the crystal is also is uh, not much more fast, okay? Other word is Arduino Micro. Arduino Micro is very nice in my point of view. Today I'm going to again show you this board also uh, that uh, the size is small it has all the possibility that we need in ono okay but what they have done they changed the usb port size for that i mean that <clears throat> They make it micro USB port they, through the reason that they have and they want to make it small. Okay. Uh, then I personally, I like micro and nano, but what there was there, the micro, there was some version that they removed the programmer and um, the programming by that, that was a little bit difficult that nowadays, again, they change it and they go for the nano version. The other word is Dewey, which word the core cortex of ARM, and um, it's used the SAM 3x8E. It's work with 3.3 DC and 5 volt DC. It's fantastic. It's similar to Raspberry Pi or Beagle word. It's work from the face. It's very near to the mega. Okay, but. Uh, my experience by working the ADC with Dewey is not good. In the case that it has lots of work, lots of noise. That is my experience. Maybe the word that I used that was not that much powerful, but I saw some other people which reported this to Arduino developers. Then you may also come across some older boards to see the difference which we had the table. But be aware that uh, Arduino IDE has changed a bit as the hardware has uh, evolved and not all older boards will work with most uh, current IDE. Then please remember always to have the new IDE board. I will, I have some clips and also some works for you to today to learn how IED IDE is working. Okay, there is a table that is very rough one. I try to compare the 20 of Arduino board here. 
the parameter that I try to put is first is controller, second is working voltage, and third one is oscillator that I put in this table. And you will see, suppose the board Arduino Uno will use Atmega 328, and Dewey, suppose, use 891, uh, something like that. Or Leonard will use Atmega 32U4. And at uh, mega, suppose we'll use at mega 2560 and so on. Okay, suppose see the voltage, uh, working voltage for the mini. This is nine volt, or see the crystal that we have here for the FIO and pro and pro mini. Uh, let me tell you that some of these products nowadays are not updated and uh, maybe they are removed from the production line, but. The main thing is that uh, they are still there. Some people will use them and uh, they can also develop the library based on that. Okay, till now, that was the first part for today's lecture. Okay, that I try to tell you what is the difference between the fake and uh, uh, original Arduino board. Second part was how we can select the Arduino board. All these aspects that I tell you, you should also compare and give me the task number two. I want that you compare task, uh, you compare the Ono, Lillipod, Nano, and Mega Arduino board hardware and design circuits and put it in the table. And um, tell me that which one is better why we should select something like that i want that you know you know your idea how to select the arduino board especially these are the famous one uh, with uh, having the knowledge uh, and how we can select this is the task number two which i'm going to put on the um, on our lecture group okay now uh, let us do some a small attendance and uh, then uh, uh, we can uh, continue for the second lecture no well uh, the second part after introduction is that how we can use this id uh, and how we should download the id as the software of the arduino board I will share one clip today for you after the group, after the lecture, but uh, to how to do download the ID or um, Arduino software and what is the latest one, which I recorded uh, last night even, and you can see. Uh, then before that, First, let us once more review the Ono board. Even I show it on the clips, but anyway, again, we will see it here. Uh, this is the Ono board that uh, we are going to use. In this Ono board, we have digital input output pins, which are mentioned here. We have from pin number uh, two to two number 30. Regularly, we are not using these two pins because these are using for serial communication. But anyway, if you have some limitation, you can use. But remember that when you're programming, it should not connect. This is the USB pin. This is the adapter circuit. These are the voltage as 3 volt, 5 volt, and ground. And this is the analog pins that we are using. And this is the reset switch. OK? Rest of the feature of the Arduino Ono board are here, which is it will use the microcontroller of Atmega 328. It has the operating voltage of 5 volt. Input voltage, which is recommended, is 7 to 12 volts. And uh, sometimes it's better that you use 6 to 20. Digital of 14-bit um, and also analog inputs for uh, pin that you have it 6 pin. Uh, the DC current per pin is 14 milliampere, and DC current for 3 volt, 3.3.3.3 .3 .3 .3 .3 
is 50 milliampere. Okay, remember this point. And uh, this is how we can connect. We can, I can connect the battery and I can connect the adapter or I can connect the USB, which I will show you soon uh, on one small clip and you can see how I should download the software. Again, we have the clip, but anyway, you can see here that simply you can go to arduino.cc and from the download, you will put the download part. Then you, you should go for the Windows installation, XP and zip file, this one, the second one. And then through that, there is the part we say that just download and simply you can download it. This is then how we will use. First, you will download the software. After that, you write the sketch, press the compile and upload, finish. All these things, we have the clips that we will see. But after doing that, we should know which part we have in our Arduino ID. Okay. You know, after uh, doing the installation, you will have some interface or some windows like this. We call it Arduino IDE windows. And inside of that, there is some part which is uh, um, show us uh, the part and tabs which uh, we will need. Okay. As you see, uh, you can have the file, you can have edit, sketch, tools, help. Some icon are here. This is the part that you will write your uh, sketch and program. These are the parts we show you which board is connected and which is on which COM board and some like this. Let us see. As I said, this is the area that we will write the codes area. This is the info panel which show us any error that we have during our program. Uh, this is the way which uh, show you that you don't have uh, your program some upload part which is here uh, this arrow is wrong it's here it will show you how to upload the program and serial monitoring which is here which show you that uh, how to connect with that these are the main famous part in our ide but just for one page these are the very important function that whole my course i just teach you this for this code I'm not going more than this. You can even take the screenshot from this page and you will see with just this much simple function, you can do so many great jobs. Suppose for serialprint.ln, I will teach you later, but just have a look that you can print the value that you want. With the function of pin mode, I can tell you the mode of your pin means that it's input or it's output. Or for the digital read, I can tell you that which pin you want to read, regularly it will use for the checking that any key is pressed or no. And digital write, whenever you want to generate a waveform, you can use that. In the sense that, it, or in the other way, I can tell you that this <laughs> slide, it's hold the course that I'm going to teach you. If you learn that, then everything from Arduino is uh, solved. You will see that Arduino is not difficult. It's very simple. Uh, let us see uh, one common problem in Arduino board is that I saw that most of the students, when they connect their program, they don't know which serial board they are connect and which board they are working on that then first of all you should remember that you are working on arduino uno which is select from tools board and arduino uno another one is that you should remember that you are connected with the serial board come uh, i don't know four three it depends on your computer 
then don't forget that always you have these two common problem then you can sort it okay how i can do and compiling the coding it's very simple first i should write the code then i should compile check the arduino port connection upload the code and see finish just four steps and some people tell ask me that is it really difficult to uh, learning the arduino i tell them it's very simple just in this slide i try to compare the simple code which will do the same job in avr as well as arduino okay now you can compare the yellow one is the avr if i want to turn on and off simple led with avr i should first of all use two function or two library first is that avr.io.h another one is that delay but in arduino i don't have anything but as you see in my arduino program there is two parts one is that setup part or which we will do generally the initialization of our board and second part is the part that we are doing the job that we want to do and we want the loop for that then that is why we have two parts in any arduino programming first is setup second one is loop and in the loop you define what you want to do you see that it's very simple something like writing in that see suppose digital write 13 high it means that pin number 13 should become one delay uh thousand it's some delay or some weight and after that digital write 13 and low and delay thousand it means that make it zero please just i will give you one minute two minutes you just compare these two code uh, with each other then we will continue just have a look to them uh, maybe some of you even know how to do the programming with avia but maybe it will give you the good uh, hints to how to do it. Okay, well, then till now we understand that Arduino is not difficult. We can learn it very fast and uh, uh, it has one IDE that in the movie I will show you how to download and which part it has. But the second part for our today uh, part, I can tell you the third part even, is how we should do the programming with Arduino. Uh, I want to do one fast review on your C language part. Then this part we can use on our uh, Arduino coding. And um, I think it has uh, more benefits for you to review, okay? Uh, then let us start first from this part, that a structure of writing the code in Arduino will run into two parts, as I mentioned before, first part is setup and second part is loop in setup generally we will fix and introduce the job that should be do once a time and we will do the setting which we need in our whole program suppose what i have done in the pink side windows is that i tell you which pin and what is the output i tell you pin mode of pin number nine is output means i expected it will generate the digital or some action it will do turn on and off for okay second part is loop and in the loop i'm going to introduce the job which should be repeated all the time in whenever my Arduino board is connect or whenever my Arduino board is running, then I should say that 
on and off for that. Okay. Suppose what I written here, I written in the code digital right nine and high, then digital right nine and low. Okay. Means that I will make the pin number nine high and pin number nine again low. Then it's finished with this small program. I can turn the one LED on or off. And also I can wait for one second. It means uh, 1,000 uh, milliseconds I can have a wait. Okay. This is the main structure of the Arduino board. But now let us review some part on C language which we are using in our uh, Arduino board. And uh, after that, maybe it will take today a little bit more time for our lectures, but we need this part. Uh, help me to finish that. As you know, we have important aspect of C language, uh, which we call it how to store the data. In here, I'm going to tell you the data type declaration, assignment, data type range, and also type conversion. Variable in C language can be character, some character data, some integer, which we will show it with the int, some flute, some signed, some unsigned, long, and short, which is fixed. Okay. Same symbol and same statement we have in our Arduino board it means that if I want to declare any variable, I will do the same job and introduce my variables in the form of character integer flutes with this assignment. Then it's same. Till now, variables definition is same with C language and Arduino. Next, next is one suppose. Uh, some example that uh, we will do which now we don't need to take care of that okay some data type suppose we have we have bit okay which is at the range of zero to one we have character short int it has the 16 bit long it which is 32 bits float double bowl it's same as c language then data types and data de declaration in Arduino is as same as C language that we studied before. How shall, suppose we declare the variable in Arduino is like that. The format is this type and variable. Okay. If I want to introduce the variable price in the form of flute, I can do it exactly like that, flute and price. Okay, it's exactly like C language, suppose. If I want to give the variable count equal to 100, I can write count equal to 100. If I want to have the variable, which is x, and this is an integer form, and it's equal to 10, I can say int x equal 10. And if I want to have the variable, which is pi, and it's in the float format, I want to equal three point suppose 14 or any value simply i can do like these three are like this variable assignment and variable definition language which we studied before Okay, can I have suppose short int, long int? Yes, we can do it same. There is no difference between C and Arduino language. We can also have it, suppose uh, type diff int counter, something like that, uh, which uh, we can have the same things. Regularly, we are using this format of type and value. Suppose type value 16 bit, if I want to have short int, Teacher with 16 bit uh, length, or I, I want to have long val 32 bit. I can have the long integer of 32 bits as well as val 16 bit int like that. I can do uh, the same. Then 
type of conversion is also same. Okay, how we will store the classes and variable? We can use the auto, means that it has the a specifier, which is indicate that the memory location or variable is temporary. And uh, we can do by default something like that. If I have char C and int ABE, then I can uh, simply do it. Or if I want to have the extern, I can have something like this, um, uh, which it's regularly, it's uh, really same as C language. Some aesthetic form of variables also I can have. Suppose I can have char X, Y, Z, and also I can suppose adding the count and also print the value. Or the storage class is um, something which is possible and I can have it as optional case. These are, whatever I tell you, it's related to uh, variables. Now, what about operator? Operator is also same. Suppose we have arithmetic operator, we have comparison operator, we have Boolean operator, we had bitwise operator. All of them, again, we have here and uh, we can learn. Let us see. Uh, How we will do, suppose, this arithmetic uh, operation? Suppose operation like equal, plus, minus, multiply, division, and mod. It's same as C language. There is no difference uh, between them. You will see. I put in one my void loop int a is equal to 9, b is equal to 4, and I'm searching for c. c is suppose a plus b. c is suppose a minus b. It's exactly like c language. Then by the arithmetic operation also, the ordinal language is same as c because really it's using the c language part. What about other arithmetic operation? It's also the same. Suppose if I want to plus or increment one, I can use plus plus. If I want to decrement one, I can use minus minus, and it's uh, really same. Okay. Um, what about comparison operator? Comparison operator is also the same. If I want to say that A is less than B, or A is greater than B, or A is less than equal or greater equal to b or a is equal to b same code or same job that i have done before with the help of c language i can do even not equal to means that this symbol also it's same and you can use okay boolean operator it's also same if i want to use the and i can use if i want to use or I can use, and if I want to use not, again, I can use here. I uh, note that the shorted uh, Boolean operator uh, here, as uh, you will see, suppose I wanted to compare A and B, if it's greater or B is less than A, uh, do something, or if, a is equal to B or B is less than A. You will see this shortcut. It's, it shows that it's really same as uh, C language that we had before. Okay, what about logical? I, we saw this before. It's exactly same, means that and or not and uh, complement, greater equal, less than equal, all are same as uh c language okay suppose if i want to do the and between two operator i can use the and if i want to use or if i want to use x or uh not shift left and shift right you will see same as c language till now then we said that there is uh, nothing in coding for arduino if just we know the c language um i think 20 or 25 percent of c language 
it will help us to do all the jobs that we need in Arduino code. Okay, what about compound operator? Something like that. Increment, decrement, compound addition, compound subtraction, compound multiplexer or division, same. Compounds, mod, um, modes or compounds, bitwise or bitwise and or bitwise or all are same uh, like what we have done in uh, C language. And what about operators? Operators is also same. Okay. We learn how to do, how uh, to give or assign the numbers uh, to the variables and declaration uh, type. This is something that till now we learn, but let us review a little bit more uh, about uh, the variable uh, declaration and that which is uh, one of the important part. You will see that, suppose, see this, int val equal to five. It means that I have a variable which the format or type of that is an integer and the value that I want to assign is five. Okay, then let us see one program that in this program, what I have done, I declare the variable of delay time, give some number. I declare the green LED and put something in that and then do my job. In this short book, I say that my pin mode of green LED means that the pin number nine and output is and uh, nature is output or mode is output. This is in setup and in loop. I said that digital write green LED. Green LED means pin number nine. I will make it high. Then delay as delay time, whatever delay that I preset at the top, I can put. And then again, digital write green LED and low. You will see that with this using the variable or assigning the variable like that, you can do some arithmetic job, you can do some setting job and so on. It's very simple, not difficult at all. One more thing, suppose if I want to less the delay in some part from some number, easily I can do suppose delay time minus 100 and then do the job here. Uh, we saw that before, is that greater than, less than, yes, do not equal uh, but just i bring it here that again you will see. okay these are for the variables how to define some example like that which i advise you please review this ppt after today lecture what about flow of control or conditional construct or loops it's exactly again same as c language means that same as c language we have if we have else, if else, we have for loop, we have while, do while, and nesting loop, and switch, which we can use simply here. Suppose we have if a statement, if just we want to take one condition, we have if and else condition, if we want to check some events twice, if else, if else a statement, we want to check a number of times, to each case, which is very important, like C language, it will make your program fast and also uh, make it simple for you. Uh, again, we have in Arduino and some conditional operator, which uh, it's same as C language. Suppose if I want to check that something happened or no, simply I can put if true, and then comment and finish like this, like C language. Or if I want to check some process, if this, this job, if this, this job, if this, this job, if this, this job, I can do if else, like the statement that I show here. And um, you will see that it's very simple. Suppose some if example I bring here. If my counter is less than 10, do this job. 
The next part is else. Else, suppose counter plus one. It's an, uh, the uh, logic that uh, the person who write the program was searching for that. Uh, or if else, if something happened to the else, do another thing. It's exactly same as uh, C language. Then you can see some example of if else, if or if else. You see that if I want again after one main, if check another condition, I can do uh, and check with the else if here. What about suppose and operation? If uh, we want all the condition to be true, we need to use the and logic. And regularly we use this symbol, which is suppose if val is greater than 10 <clears throat> and val is less than 20, we can use that. Or for the or gate also, we can have the same idea. What about case? Case is also like C language. We have case number. And then case one, what to do? Case two, what to do? Same, same, same as C language. What about the other control flu? Why? It's also same. We can know the condition and just check. Why do we have that special condition or that special case? We can repeat the job and uh, do it. See, suppose this we can have. What about do while? Do while is also like that. We can do something and then check that this is happening or no. Okay. Next statement, which is very powerful, is for. We are searching or generating the loop with the help of for. Suppose here you will see I have the for with initial value of n equal to zero, which is then n is less than 100 and then n plus plus means that I will go for the next, 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 till my n becomes less than 100. And uh, then what we should do if we want to have the function, for the function also we can have same idea that we have with the language and then generate the void. And through that you can do input, output for that. We will see this later. Uh, not now, but just have some rough idea regarding uh, that. Suppose here, if you see, I have the function which I call it multiply function i and j. And then here at the end of my program, I specify what is multiply function. And then whenever the program reach this point, take i and j, go to that routine function part, do the calculation and return off uh, the need. Another example even, uh, just I want you to see that it's not difficult than the language and uh, you can simply add just the function which you need with our dino code and then uh, do it very fast. Okay. One more thing is array, uh, which is very important. And it's collection of variables that has access with some index number. In C programming language or C programming ordinal language, uh, a sketch can be complicated, uh, but using the simple array, which help the programmer to do the programming is uh, very important. Also, the array is uh, help us to categorize stores and also accessing the data very fast, which is uh, one of the, I can say, nice comment, which uh, we have is array form and uh, um, we can enjoy even this simple statement in Arduino part. But uh, as even I written here for you, uh, array is very simple. You will see that suppose int my inst six, it means that I'm going to declare an array 
and int uh, my pins like this it will do what we have in our array it's simple and exactly like the c language you can declare an array without initialization or in uh, one suppose name as my pin we can declare it an array without choosing the size and finally we can get both initialization and size of your array as in suppose any values just uh, note that when declarating an array of type char one more element than your initialization is required to hold the required null uh, character suppose uh, my sense val zero value is two and number one is four if you see the function or main array which i have means that accessing is also from zero is first one this is the index that we are using in c language and uh, we can see even more here suppose array of foo which is have the members which all of them are integer number which is start from zero to four which means five room and any of these are related to to uh, one of the room okay then uh, the pointer also we have which i'm not going to enter through that pointer part because uh, i prefer now you little bit uh, practice on uh, this uh, statement that i tell you but be aware that we have pointer and by the help of pointer also we can do the memory allocation and address of the operator we can do with that piece um, it's uh, one of the nice thing that we can do anyway the pointer parts you can read it uh, from the ppt till now no need but after this level uh, you need to learn more about uh, this uh, pointer part okay 